Right. Yeah, yeah. Maintain shikilia hapo. Yes, you tell you shikilia shikilia hapo. Na wanguke na. All right, as I let the PS go, university students can now breathe a sigh of relief after the court declared the ongoing don't strike illegal and ask the lecturers to go back to class. Now that move now allows the university examination to proceed. Meanwhile, Education Cabinet Secretary Julius Ogamba has said the discussions are ongoing with the unions with a view to reach a middle ground. It is reprieve to university students as they can now sit their exams after the Labour Court ruled that the ongoing lecturer strike is unlawful. Justice Agnes Nze stated that the lecturer's demands must be addressed through negotiations as per the return to work agreement previously signed between the union and the interministerial committee. Cabinet Secretary Julius Migos has stated that discussions with the unions are ongoing to determine the structure and differentiation of the proposed salary increment which include a 10% and a 7% raise. When we put in the figure of 9 billion, the increment moves from 7% or 10% to a different figure, to a different percentage. But that is now a question of just doing the workings to find out a middle ground and agree that this is the actual figure. The Kenya University Staff Union Secretary General Charles Mukwaya has emphasized that they are allowing space for negotiations, which is why they chose not to proceed with the strike as initially planned for Tuesday. As we are still giving the government and our employers a window to dialogue. The Education Cabinet Secretary also lamented over underfunding in the education sector, which he says has led to delayed capitation disbursement and reduced funding. And Musungu KTN News, Nairobi.